Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to something different, something new. Uh, something different in a lot of ways. So this game is, uh, this game is called Stray Cat Crossing. It's a horror game, actually. I don't play a whole lot of horror games. In fact, I play no horror games whatsoever. Except for that one time where I played Outlast, and a little bit in Fallout, and I guess... Shoot, there's another semi-horror game that I've totally forgotten about. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, Stray Cat Crossing is a horror game. It's like, kind of atmospheric horror, not a whole lot of jump scares, I think. Mostly just super creepy. It's also an RPG Maker game. I, I pretty much refuse to play RPG Maker games just because most of them are kind of trash. But this one kind of stood out, A, because it's cheap. It's three bucks. B, the entire soundtrack is uh, custom post-rock by, I assume, somebody attached to the developers of this game, which is actually kind of cool as far as I'm concerned. I'm a really big fan of post-rock, so we'll see how that goes. I might I might be judging the mu music a little bit uh, as we go along here, but mainly just the visuals were different. The character, I mean, it's very obviously an RPG Maker game, but there's, there's an amount of it that still feels nice and new and fresh and interesting. I don't know. Uh, the cutscenes look freaking creepy, which I could go for. Anyway. Let's get into the game instead of sitting here blathering for a whole minute. Oh boy, walking is going to be slow. Well, this is going to be this is going to be interesting. Hello, sir. What are you? Hey, are you okay? What's wrong? Are you lost? I'm scared. I want to go home. It's pretty late. Do you know where your house is? Yes. Not gonna lie, following little girls in the dead of night seems like a bad move. Get a cell phone or something. It's this way. Oh, it's that way. I don't know. Close enough. I can take you home if you want. Don't you want to come home? Oh, don't you want to go home? Okay. Do we, do we... Am I in control? Jeez. This is slow. Hmm? What's wrong? Cold. Oh. Here. Take my scarf. Better. Too tight. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. Here. Let me fix it for you. Better. Warm. Great. By the way, what's your name? Cat. Oh, she's Cat. I thought the main character... Like, I thought the redhead was Cat. Well then. Nice to meet you, Cat. Let's take you home. So the animation is a uh, little bit on the limited side of things. Oh, hello. That that's That's a lot of trees. Hey, where's the Lorax? Totally, totally Lorax town. Digging the music so far, or at least the, the ambience, ambience it's given off. Started by Drulo and Jetpack something. <laughs> they immediately... T why, why are you walking in the center of a road anyway? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. At least they had the good sense to get out of there. Oh, the door is jittering. Means it's not built into the environment. Ah. Now here's the question. Am I either going to be scared, or am I just going to be incredibly flippant while playing this? I don't know. That remains to be seen. Anyway. Is this your house? Yes. Here is fine. Are you sure? Yes. Well then, take care, cat. Goodbye! Well, four minutes in, and I'm not scared. This is a bad sign, but then again, we're talking to little girls. I'm not entirely... Maybe we're the crazy psycho killer. I don't even know. Anyway. Um, thank you. Hey, wait, my scarf. I can't lose that scarf. And now we go into the creepy magic. Oh, there's a sprint button. Oh, there's a sprint button. Hello? Hmm, the door's open. Enter. Yes. There's a sprint button. Okay. So since there's a run faster button, this this game has gotten twice as uh, twice as good. Cat. Uh. Pa. 
Hi. Picture. Hold S still. Oh. So that's where you save. Okay, so that creepy thing's a save point. Nothing here. Nothing here. TV. Kind of creepy, but mesmerizing. Okay, let's just run around looking for her. Cat must have gone this way. You know, watching my preview window is actually a little bit easier than watching the game itself. Unfortunately, this game does not have great graphics options, so we're playing in a tiny little window here. Cat, are you in here? It's locked. Look! Look! Look at the hag! Look at what the cat dragged in. A guest! A guest! We must look our best. We've never had a guest before. A sight for sore eyes, isn't it? That's a sore lie, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? He... Who are you? Don't be so innocent. <laughs> Hear that? Hear that? Weird that. Well, she never met us, did she? Did she? Did she? Precious, isn't she? Have you seen a little girl around? Little girl! Little girl! Aren't you a little girl? I'd like to leave, please. She'd like to leave. To leave, the nerve. To the peeve, we'd grieve. Is there a way out? Out, yes. Doubt, yes. A favor, I declare a favor. A favor? Honor and favor when she can leave. The nerve, the peeve. Okay, what's the favor? Our favor, she asks. Please, miss, it's not hard to ask. This stupid, useless, well, I'm not gonna read half of that. Oh wait, we can. This stupid, useless, rinky, wrinkly, stinky, pea blain spud-faced, fly-ridden, flea-bitten, slop-smelling, dug-dwelling, putrescent, pustulous pile of a mutt here. Can you tell me its name? Here, here! Then you can leave. Leave us behind. How unkind. Alright, so I assume we can only leave this room once we solve these guys' puzzle. Old fashioned bicycle. Looks uncomfortable. It's a, it's a penny farthing, I think. Hey, we can save. Picture, yes. Hold still. Okay, so I'm definitely... I mean, the, the gameplay itself is not the highlight of this game. It's pretty bad, in fact. I'm glad they have, like... They have descriptions for every single thing you can interact with. Ice sculpture of a swan. It's beautiful. Why the hell is there not... Ice sculpture between penny farthings. I don't even understand. Anyway, let's talk to the dog. Oh, Jesus Christ. A dog, I think. Alright. Let's 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 see if we can go out the, the other door on the side. Let's see where this brings us. Yep. It's an old diary. Read entry. Yes. May 18th, 1912. To be honest, I find their back garden as terrifying as it is fascinating. The creatures that lurk here there can only be described as cunning and monstrous. And yet, the plants that take root there. I never could have dreamed of them. The flora seem ordinary, but their properties are, I dare say, magical. For example, the extract of rose emanates warmth, even in the coldest conditions. The rest is scribbled out. Okay. Blue chemical. Red chemical. Test tubes. Take a test tube? Yes. To view items in your inventory, press X to open up the menu. Okay. Let's... Let's go with the red potion. I can only assume that's the rose hip thing. Also, a plain model hangs over the crib. This is a fucked up nursery in the basement. A whole horned sheep skull hanging above the fireplace. Its mouth is chained and locked shut. Ugh. Ugh. So, I mean, I feel like a lot of this is kind of like ambiance for the... sake of ambiance. 
I could be wrong about that, actually. Well, let's let's save again. Picture, hold still. I like the I like the save thing. It's kind of neat. I don't know if they're like multiple endings or anything like that, or if this is completely linear. Anyway, let's try talking to these two again. Hmm, what do you want? Oh, is this definitely? Yeah. Yes. Can you tell me its name? So we've got what? We've got five letters. Where are we gonna? I know what I'm gonna call it. It's a dog, right? There's only one name for dogs in my life, and it is cat. Wrong! 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 Now, shoo, move along. Well, never mind. Can't name a cat. Okay, so we need to we need to figure out. Oh. Let's pour the red potion on the swan. Melt that shit up. Swan melted instantly. Well, I'm a monster. Let's go back for some more. I can only I can only assume that uh, having a <clears throat> having a good stock of uh, melting potion is a good idea. Oh, you already collected that. Oh, oh. So we just have unlimited usage of that, possibly. Well, that's actually kind of nice. I'd, I'd hate to have to do uh, backtracking or anything like that. This 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 doesn't even. Uh. Oops. Unfortunately, maneuvering in a uh, up, down, left, right, you know, just base axis is a little bit awkward. Oh well. Ah, nuts. Ah, nuts. Alright, can't do anything with that. A bus is somewhat important. Old film reel. Pick it up? Yeah, sure. Got the film reel. Okay, let's see what else we can interact with here. Projector screen. Old guitar, someone snapped its neck. Oh. You know what, the the musical instruments probably belong to, uh... The creepy twins up above. Old bass, strings are broken. Old fashioned record player, alright, let's watch the movie. The projector is running by itself. Play the film reel? Yes! Baby Fice Productions prevent uh, presents Baby Fish, Fast the Dog. Okay. Son? Uh. It's offering an egg. Take the egg? Yes. Got egg. Well, let's go name the dog at the very least. Yep. Let's not... Let's not look at creepy mouths anymore. Damn it! Who stacked all these penny farthings in here? I don't even know. Oh, this stupid useless... Can you tell me its name? Faust. There we go. Correct. Correct. Correct? How? Foul play, I suspect. Must be, must be. Must be. Must we ask for another favor? Must we? We must. We mustn't hate her. Another favor will right the wrong. Favors for favors. Bring us the favorite food of the ram. Now scram! Alright, I'm only going I can only assume that the the that's in reference to the ram down down below. Might as well take the picture. I'm just gonna keep taking taking these pictures. I don't think I need to save multiple times. I don't think there are multiple endings I need to worry about. Uh oh. Oh hey, journal switched. It's an old diary. Read entry. 1912. Nope. Okay. Clover concentrate sharpens the mind, allowing me to understand dead languages. Rest is scribbled out. Okay. Ah. Oh, let's see if I can take another another test tube. 
Oh, I see. We lost our test tube the last time. Okay, we got a blue potion. There's a uh, red inscription on the skull. Atam Hoi. First half, this inscription is missing. Red inscription on the skull. The oh, Sarad. Second half is missing. Okay, so let's let's go into let's go into our inventory. How many test tubes can I take? How do we get into our inventory? Okay, so it was lying to me there. So let's items items. What if I what if I mix the wait? Is this another one? Oh, that's the green chemical. Okay. Oh, we're out of we're out of test tubes. Okay. So now let's go into our inventory. Let's see if I can take the green potion. Drink green potion. There we go. Bottoms up. Feeling great. There's a red inscription on the skull. What does the ram see? Ram is facing the far wall. Okay. Ram is facing this wall. There's nothing here. What? A hole opened up in the wall. Enter? Yes. Okay, I thought it had something to do with that cage. I really need to play this in a darkened room. I think I think for the for the next episode, especially as it raises the creep factor, I will definitely make sure I'm playing in like absolute blackness just just to just to boost it up a little bit. Anyway, a lonely peanut on a plate. Take peanut. Yes. Okay. Anything with the books? It's a fancy book. Before Eden. Dusty book. Benjamin's attic. After dawn. And thick book. Desire and envy. Okay. Anything on this stool? Creaky stool. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, so apparently the peanut is the favorite food of the ram? That's a very confusing thing, but alright, whatever. Let's go talk to the... the. I guess they're not the creep, creep twins, they're actually like uh, father and son. Which is... Still super freaky. I don't like it, anyway. Oh, have you brought the favorite food of the ram? Hand over the peanut? Yes. Wrong, wrong, wrong! Now shoo, move along! Oh, you know what? Maybe I have to give the ram the peanut, and then we find something else out. Facing the far wall. We can still get through the hole. We've got that egg. Doesn't look like it can do anything. What if I items? Can't really do anything with them. Okay, so we've got the egg. We've got the peanut. See, this is a, this is one of my eternal fears. Okay, it still says, "What does the ram see?" Dead bird that hangs above the crib. Play model planet. Okay. Bird cage without a bird. Can I interact with that? The answer is no. Old diary, read entry. Let's see. Extracts of the rose, clover concentrate, rest is scribbled out. Okay, so that's not useful. Let's try going to the other room. Maybe, maybe there's something on the other side to help us here. Let's check to the kid. Scram, scram, scramble, scramble. Oh, ram, ram, ramble, ramble. Maybe that's the hint. Dog, I think. Okay, that's not good. So, if I could figure out how to scramble an egg, maybe that would be useful. Maybe not. Oh, Nutcracker! Is, it, is that a peanut? It looks juicy. Uh, give a peanut. And I have it. Thank you. Very much. Here. A key. You got a key. Please come back. Later. I forgot what he sounded like the first time around, so I kind of have to wing it. Okay, let's interact with the bus, probably. Nope, I have no idea what to use the key on. Unless the key is for the door to leave? 
or is it for the birdcage? Let's try the birdcage first. I'm just saving... Every time I go by that, just in case something goes wrong. Who knows, this game came out today, so I can only imagine. Anyway. Birdcage without a bird, use the key. Key doesn't fit in there. Damn it. What would it fit in? Oh! Horned sheep skull hanging over the fireplace. The mouth, chain to lock shut. Unlock the mouth? Yes. Unlock mouth and remove chain. Two conjoined hearts. Fall out of the ram's mouth. Got conjoined hearts. Well, there we go. Let's, uh... I don't know why I keep saving. It's fast. I, I'm just... I'm just paranoid of, of something going wrong. I don't know. Oh, have you brought the favorite food of the ram? Hand over conjoined hearts? Yes. Correct. The ram loves to devour human hearts. Correct! Correct! Impossible! Implausible! You couldn't have known. You couldn't have known! You couldn't have known. How? 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 Now! Now! We'll allow it. But... 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 Favors for favors. Favors for favors. That means you still owe us one more favor. One more favor. Sing us the perfect song with the perfect voice. A song! A song! With the voice of choice! Having trouble? Can you? Can you sing us the perfect song? <laughs> that sounds awful. 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 Okay, so we need to go find Song. Well, let's go read the journal. The journal almost always seems to point us in the right direction. I want to say the... Yep, thought so. Read the entry. Skip that. Extras of row, Clover, and Essence of Violent returns dead creatures to life. Okay. Leave this place with ample samples immediately. That woman is queer enough, but truth be told... It's her demented babe that frightens me most. The rest is scribbled out. Okay, so let's revive the bird. Bird was resurrected. Got bird. Bird cage with the bird. Put bird in cage. Yes. Shouldn't put the bird in here. Really? Why not? Okay. What if we just use the bird? Oh. Ugh. All right, well, let's try... Uh, let the bird sing. A fine voice indeed. But the song, the song! It's wrong, it's wrong! All right, so, I, you know what? It's probably the gra gramophone. Take the bird down to the gra gramophone, and we're good to go. Yeah! All right, so honestly, I'm not particularly scared, admittedly. But it's not that necessarily a bad thing, either. Record player. Oh, we are gonna talk to the- oh, he's moved. He could move? Well, let's see what's behind here. Oh. Clop. A chicken? Clop. Okay, it's just the same thing. Oh, it's the piano. Let's take a look at things. Another lamppost and doors. Huh, this plant is real. It looks freshly watered. What's this? There's nothing on the other side. Oh, it's like a window. Okay, well, let's play the piano. A piano playing by itself. The bird seems to like the song. Hold bird closer to the piano? Of course. The bird learned the song. Honestly, I'm actually really liking this game. I was expecting to kind of just be, like, bored by it, but it was like, you know, at three bucks. No real, like, personal cost. But it's actually kind of good. I mean, the, the writing is good. The rhyming between these characters, like, the, the dialogue is actually, actually well done. The music ain't bad, ambiance ain't bad, the visuals are great. Uh, let's, let's try the bird song. Can you, can you sing us the perfect song with the perfect voice? Let the bird sing.
It's perfect. Perfect. Uh Dead things should stay dead, shouldn't they? Shouldn't they? Shouldn't they? Should couldn't they, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> well, you won, you won. Didn't we have a blast? Yeah! Why leave so fast? So soon? After that wonderful tune. Say, why don't you stay a while? A while, a while! We think you're swell. You're so swell, we can tell. Well, well. Sure, why not? Yes. Yes, just stay a while. Smile, smile, it'll be fun. Who knows when we'll be done. Fun, fun, fun forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever. And ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever and ever and ever and ever. And ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Oh, well, looks like I lost the game. This is why I saved compulsively. Ah, oh, shoot, I haven't saved, uh, saved for a while. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. That's the end of the game. I think I can continue from where I was. Okay, cool. But, you know what? I think I'm going to call it there because, what, we're 26 minutes in? I think that is a perfect stopping point. So, this was a Stray Cat Crossing, and honestly, I'm actually quite impressed. It's not a bad game. It's also three bucks. I would recommend it, uh, especially if you like atmospheric horror -y games. That said, if you're going to watch the whole series, you're probably not going to get a whole lot of extra uh, benefit out of this game. I'll prefer missing it, uh, getting a couple of things I missed. Um, so I guess if you're sticking around, it might not be worth picking it up, but even then, the price point is not bad. So if you're a fan of atmospheric horror games, this one might actually be worth picking up. Uh, of course, I haven't seen you know the rest of the game, but that section alone, A, was snappy. I mean, it was very obvious what to do, but the the execution and, you know, just the, the way it was presented was really nice. And I actually really liked the writing between the two characters. So that was impressive. And sorry if you guys didn't like the voice acting. Unfortunately, I just do it, A, for practice, because I want to get better at it, and B, uh, it helps differentiate the characters for anybody that's not necessarily watching in full. Um, but overall, I'm impressed. I actually really am. So I guess I will see you guys on the next episode of Stray Cat Crossing, where we'll uh, go back, finish that puzzle, and escape. I'll probably uh, start the episode right when it's asking, you know, uh, do you want to stay forever or anything like that. Because uh, I think that's a good good place to pick back up from. So, uh, if you like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave a like. Helps more than you know. If you want to see more Stray Cat Crossing, actually hit subscribe. I'm actually going to be doing a series on this one, weirdly enough. Uh, would, did not expect it going into it, but I enjoyed the experience, so I will. Plus, it's a short game. I think it's only two hours long, uh, so that's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, so I guess with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and as always, thanks for watching.